Hi, so today I'm going to talk about a very important question. I think uh, it's, it's something I've discussed in the past, I think, uh, but also I'd like to take this question again with a bit uh, fresh perspective on whether AI will take over the, the job of, of a quant, right? So um, we, do, we do not know yet uh, the, what will be the impact of AI. Uh, on various jobs, um, we do not know yet, right? Uh, you know, some people are saying that AI is, is still a hype, and some people are saying that no, no, this this time it is quite because it's not the first time we have the AI hype. You know, we have had AI hype many times over the last five decades, uh, but people are saying oh, this time it is real because now we do have uh, you know AI tools at our uh, disposal. You know, we have. Chart GPT, but also similar tools. Uh, more recently, OpenAI came up with uh, text to video sort of, uh, you know, AI tool. So it's happening, and it's uh, it has surprised many people, uh, including those who uh, were questioning the developments of AI. Um, but the question is whether uh, AI will be able to replace the quantitative analyst. Uh, may not be fully replaced, but it is. It may reduce the demand for quant quantitative analyst. My thoughts. Uh, my first thought on on this is that uh, it will definitely have impact, uh, like it will have impact on all kinds of te all technical jobs. But the impact will be a lot less compared to let's say software engineering job, because there, I think the the, the you know the, the coding part can be automated. It's not very difficult, but how do you build trust, right? Trust is something that is very important in the field of quantity finance, right? Uh, the stakes are very high, money is involved, public money is involved. Financial system uh, is very sensitive to you know small mistakes. If you make a mistake, if something goes wrong, things can have you know a domino effect. As in, one bank is in trouble, it will have impact on another twenty banks. How will that be uh, addressed through artificial intelligence? I do not know, right? So you you will definitely need uh, human beings. So I think healthcare, you know, uh, and and finance will be the sectors will be impacted um, uh, somewhat less um, compared to other sectors. Now some people might say, okay, but uh, you know, in healthcare and AI, uh, in in finance you know those uh, operationally challenging uh, jobs for example you know uh, you know uh, for example in in the case of uh, you know banks uh, bank manager actually handling your paperwork that can be done by the ai i agree but um, compliance and risk related activities investment related activities um, decision making related to lending that will, in my view, will always be with uh, humans and not uh, be done through AI systems. Uh, at least uh, in, in in categories where you know the stakes are very high, um, in automatic way of uh, deciding whether to give loan or not, that's already being tried out. I think over a decade. I used to work for uh, an NBFC ten years back, where you know they tried doing this and. Um, so it, it, it's not uh, new at all, right? So there will be some impact, no question about it, but the impact will be less in my view for a variety of reasons. First of all, you know, the stakes are very high because it's, it's finance, money is a big thing, right, for society. So you know, it's not, and the financial systems are very interrelated, right? Internationally, it's very interrelated. So nobody will take chances there. The third thing is that um, regulation, right? The regulation will also protect you. Uh, see the kind of regulations, AI related regulations in Europe um, may not be conducive to AI uh, advancements, uh, but uh, it's certainly good to protect the, you know, uh, the interest of normal people, right, who are not benefiting directly from AI. Only few people are benefiting from that. You know, the um, the people who are in Silicon Valley, they are the one who are making money out of it. So, so regulation will protect. And certainly in the field of finance, uh, it will uh, be protected to some extent, to a large extent, in fact. Uh, having said that, um, I do believe that um, there will be uh, an increased productivity of quants. Uh, 
uh, especially uh, doing visualization, doing data analysis, writing code. I think writing code will be much less important going forward. I think to be able to understand code, to be able to, uh, you know, do implementation and to be able to analyze code will be more important than writing the code, which is perhaps the boring part of, uh, of coding. I don't like either. I think that uh, will get impacted for sure. In fact, it has already started. Uh, you, you see a huge impact. People simply uh, copy paste code from, they used to copy paste code from different blogs. Now they're doing it from ChatGPT uh, or like uh, such tools. Uh, but um, doing the analysis part, I don't think that is possible. Even if you know, um, even if you have uh, a really good article in front of you and chart GPT or any of these uh, tools actually tell you what to do, right? To, you should be able to interpret that and, and uh, convert that to some sort of uh, actionable insight, right? That's not easy. Uh, whether AI tools will be able to do that? Uh, completely, uh, I doubt, uh, at least not in next few years time, maybe 10 years down the line, I do not know, maybe. Um, but a lot of the automation activities uh, which started, you know, way back, I think even 15 years when I started my career, there was a lot of talk about automation and things started, but you see, you not see the progress too much, especially in the field of finance. The progress is very limited uh, for a variety of reasons. So, so, so I don't see uh, that happening uh, a lot in, in the field of finance, uh, but uh, we can never be sure about it because it's still an evolving field. Uh, maybe, uh, yeah, maybe the AI progress will not go beyond, you know, the text and video creation, but that's not enough, right? That's not enough for the world. That uh, That cannot, that obviously will help you become a better journalist, become a software developer, but uh, or, or you want to learn something quickly that will really help you. But um, you need a much uh, more intelligent AI system uh, if you really want to replace human beings in in, in their jobs. So um, so that's my view. Uh, I can be hundred percent wrong on this, by the way. So let's wait and. And watch and, and and see actually what ha what's going to happen maybe in 10 years times uh, most of uh, us will lose job and maybe we'll be relying on you know social security uh, from the government we do not know yet there will be some solution but i'm always optimistic about uh, new innovations so i'm looking forward to it